Hi friends, I am Richo. Uh, today we are planning to cover the topic Azure Firewall Deployment Part 1. I just plan to cover this topic like a series wise because uh, each series I, I will describe for different different context because the concept is very huge. So what is the learning objective today we are discussing? Uh, basic concept of firewall and what is for Azure Firewall and Azure Firewall service type and Azure Firewall deployment company and Azure Firewall network traffic and demo Azure Firewall deployment. So first we will go for what is firewall. So here we will uh, represent for one diagram and then you can easily understand what is firewall. So basically the network will be categorized like a untrusted network is like an internet network and trusted network like your own premises like your uh, virtual machines or your web application or whatever the application you have inside in your network. So what uh, basically the network will be inbounding for your incoming for your trusted network and also the traffic will be going out of your internet also so it's outgoing so both incoming and outgoing so you don't know what is the traffic will be coming inside your network and what is the traffic will be going outside your network and sometimes this tra traffic will be malicious untrusted traffic will be coming and it will be destroyed your uh, Web app, web app server or someone will be hacking your server or sort of like this one the, this type of uh, problem will become we can helpful for the firewall so what is firewall will be firewall will be filtering for the your network incoming and your network what is the traffic will be passing your outgoing firewall to inspect your and uh, your traffic and also they will protect your traffic from untrusted network so here you can see by default firewall deny all the incoming and outgoing traffic so what traffic here what traffic will be allow and what traffic will be deny so it will be maintained for the firewall so next topic what is azure firewall so what is azure firewall means uh, it's like a cloud based security service the firewall as a service the, the service will be provided from the microsoft service microsoft uh, azure and it's protect for your virtual network resource from incoming and outgoing threat and also it will be inspect your uh, incoming and outgoing traffic and keep your workload as safe and malicious traffic and also azure firewall manages service uh, it means uh, they will update for your operating systems and they will uh, update for high availability and scaling all done by microsoft itself so you don't want to worry about anything because microsoft azure firewall will be providing for the good service so uh, it's like a uh, firewall as a service so now you understand what is the azure firewall so azure firewall basically have three tires uh, basic tires standard tires and premium tires so this tires will be it's like a azure firewall SKUs. so next topic azure firewall service tires so Azure Firewall have first tire is like a basic tire. So here you can see the diagrammatic representation for the Azure Firewall basic tires. So the solution will be recommend for the small and medium sized business customer. So Azure Firewall basic only support for the small and uh, small and medium sized business customers. And it could provide a maximum throughput of the network will be 215 Mbps means the maximum network speed is available for that network resource is like 250 mbps only support uh, fixed scale up scaling uh, unit because it's only supporting for the uh, up to virtual machines backend instance okay next one azure firewall standard azure firewall standard is uh, layer 3 layer 4 filtering and it support for the auto scaling up to the traffic speed 300 gbps you understand before the traffic will be support only 240 for the basic but in standard it will be support for the 300 gps gps okay and threat intelligence feed from the microsoft and microsoft team will be provide the uh, cyber security feeds like intelligence feed and it's a real-time update and you get from the microsoft protection against the new and emergency cyber threats and it's supporting for the enterprise feature like DNS proxy and custom DNS and web category and threat intelligence. Okay, so now you understand what is the Azure Firewall standard. Next one, Azure Firewall Premium. So this solution provides a secure and high uh, sensitive application. It's like a 
payment uh, health care and industry area supports and health care and, uh, and its example is like a payment and health care industry support and support advanced threat protection capability it's like a tls inspection idps and ur filtering and web category uh, this additional service provided from the Azure firewall premium you understand Azure firewall premium also so next we will uh, discuss the, the features of the basic standard and basic standard and premium so here uh, you can see here uh, built high availability and availability soon supporting and application full card filtering network tag filtering uh, full quality tag service tag third diligent and alert mode outbound uh, source network address transfer portion and inbound uh, network address translation and multiple public ip address and azure monitor whatever the uh, uh, feature support for the basics is also supporting for the support all the features from the basics so and also it's support for the additional features like this one and also free premium will be also support for the all the features from the standard and also it's additional uh, supporting tls infection idps and URL filtering and web category so this one uh, future categories by uh, so you are here you can see the futures categories so l l3 l7 filtering uh, firewall basic and firewall standard and firewall premium all support the futures and I expect network level full qualified filtering all port and port only for supporting for the standard and firewall premium so next one reliability and performance and uh, evidence support for the availability soon availability availability and it's only support for the 200 mbps in the basic and 13 gps in the firewall standard and firewall premium will be support for the 100 gps okay and next one uh, ec management will be easily support for the all the tires and enterprise integration uh, only web content filtering web categories and dns proxy only supported for the firewall standard and firewall premium so advanced threat protection uh, only support for the threat in intelligence this only for alert in the basic features and firewall standard will be support for the threat intelligence from the north malicious ip address and domains and inbound the tls and inbound tls termination fully managed idps and url filtering full path and ssl termination only support for the firewall premium so firewall premium will be support for the additional threat protection so now you understand what is the features and what is the future category for supporting for the three tires okay so next we will go for azure firewall deployment combo so how we can uh, deploy the azure, azure firewall so first we we'll see this one uh, virtual network so you need to virtual network uh, it's whatever the name you want to give and and next one is one of the important topic uh, azure firewall need a dedicated name subnet is subnet like azure firewall subnet so and also its basic minimum size is 26 okay so next at least one public ip must be standard tire and at least one static public ip so the public ip you need the standard tires and also need the static public ip so next all the the public ip will be receive all the inbound traffic and private ip will be receive all the outbound traffic okay so next one azure firewall policy the here you can see the azure firewall the azure firewall policy will be implement for what is the traffic will be going with azure firewall rules here destination network address translation rule and network uh, rules and application rule rule and also dns setting tls in idp center terminals so azure firewall policy is set for the rule and setting the control the traffic flow between the azure resource and internet one. so azure firewall rules will be handling for what is the traffic will be passing through inside network what is the traffic will be going outside your network so here you can see what is the traffic will be allow and what is the traffic will be defined so here you can see two uh, subnet uh, subnet production and subnet development and this the azure firewall will be a uh, firewall policy will be uh, calculate what is the traffic will be passing for inside and what is the traffic will be passing for the outside so policy define what traffic will be allowed or what traffic will be denied and it depends on your source destination ip address and port protocol and application type so now you understand uh, how to, the component of the azure firewall 
so basically very important you can calculate Azure firewalls that is name is dedicated name okay so next Azure firewall network traffic so how the Azure firewall manage the network traffic so this is the diagrammatic representation you can see here one public IP and private IP for your Azure firewall so inbound traffic is like a public internet traffic and all the traffic will be coming in the your public IP so it's inbound network destination network address translation translate your public IP address to the private IP address so whatever the public IP will be coming they will translate for your private IP okay that is the network destination address translation so but all the incoming traffic will be hit to the public IP of your Azure firewall so next one outbound in traffic outbound say your own premises network traffic and it will be hit for the your all the private IP and then translated to the outside your network so that is a source network address translation translate source IP address into firewall public IP so uh, source network only when destination IP address outside your virtual network so only when the if your network is outside your virtual network only support for the source network address, address translation okay so now you understand how to Azure firewall manage network traffic so next we will go for demo Azure firewall deployment uh, so basically I just plan to cover uh, how to do we will create one uh, virtual network is like Azure firewall walnut uh, Azure firewall vnet and then we will uh, create one subnet and the subnet name is Azure firewall subnet and then after that uh, we will deploy our Azure firewall so just I will go for now the portal then I will show you the demo how to we can deploy the Azure firewall hi friends now we reach our Azure portal so what is uh, we are plan to implement here uh, first we need to create our resource group just to go for clicking the resource group then create then here we will enter the name of our resources rj demo firewall then we need to select our region also right selected east us then review and create i just now go for the tag if you need the tag just enter the tag then click create so now our resource group we create validation is processing then after that we just go for the create so now the resource group rj demo firewall is created so next we will uh, go for virtual network so virtual network so we need to create our firewall virtual network so just go for create the virtual network just to click and then here you need to select your uh, resource group i already create the resource group rj demo firewall then here you need to enter the virtual network name vnet firewall okay then after that click next and uh, security is i will go for default and here uh, you just uh, click whatever the address space you need uh, i just go for the default address space and then i need to add the subnet okay now i need to create my subnet for the firewall just you click add subnet then you need to select from the subnet purpose i just select azure firewall then name automatically coming for the azure firewall subnet then IP address range same range and starting address I need uh, 10 0 1 0 if you need to change change for your subnet size okay and also here you automatically they will select for your subnet size because you select the subnet purpose and currently I just go for the starting address uh, 10.0.1.1.0 okay then slash 26 so the subnet adding range 1 to 0 and 1 to 6 because we will select for the size 26 okay then click add then after that go for next if currently i don't go for any tag then just click next review and create so now they will running the validation so validation is completed so just click create so now we uh, deploy our virtual azure firewall virtual network and we enter the subnet also so next we will uh, go for the public ip address so just pip public ip address so here you can see public ip address just click public ip address then here can you can create the public ip address from here 
just click and here you need to select your resource group demo and east us and name pip firewall public ip firewall ip version ip4 4 and standard is standard we need the standard tire and availability zone it's okay and the region also region wise or, or globalized wise you can and then here you need to ip address assignment is static and the routing preferences currently we will go for then just in next and review and create so we implement our Azure uh, firewall virtual network and public IP address. So just waiting for the validation. So validation is complete. Just click create. So our deployment public IP address is succeeded. So we just go for our resources. Yeah, our public IP address 57.151.53.2421. Okay. So now we implement our virtual network and public IP. Just we will go for resource group. We select our RJ demo firewall resource group. So here you can see public IP and VNN. So just we need to go for creating our firewall. Firewall. Just click firewall. Then here you need to create your firewall. So select your uh, previous creator resource group. Just RJ demo and here firewall demo. 0 1 and same region and away if you need availability to select availability zone and here you need to select your SKU basic standard and premium currently i just go for the premium basic also supporter standard standard you can uh, you get the classic uh, it's managed from azure and also you can create your own so currently i just go for the premium and i i don't have any firewall policy just to create add the policy fa firewall policy zero one then select your region and here you can select your tires then our firewall policy is created next one choose your virtual network you can create and we already create so we go for the existing one what is vnet firewall demo and here we can create your own uh, public uh, uh, add your new public ip address so but we already created so just we will go for the pip and for standing currently i will skip this one because i will teach you in the later section and then next one tag next tag you uh, i don't give any tag i just go for create so they will uh, check the validation of the firewall so validation is passed then click create so now we deploy our azure firewall so now you understand how to we can deploy our azure firewall in the azure portal just we will uh, waiting for the complete deployment and after that I will show you the what is the properties available in the Azure firewall just waiting for the completion okay so I just now uh, pause my video after finish I will come back so now our uh, Azure deployment firewall deployment is completed so we just go for the resource so this is firewall demo 01 and here the standard IQ we selected and your public IP is here pip cover and private IP address is also here this is our overview and this is our firewall policy so next video we will implement for the how to we can implement the rules and everything so now you understand how to we can deploy in the Azure firewall in the Azure portal so we will see in the next video so if you like my video please subscribe my channel and support me. Thank you so much.